Well, do you have house plants in my house? That's usually followed up with the question. Are they still alive? It's a great way to keep your gardening hobby active until you can go back out into the garden outside. Today on You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie takes us to a local garden center to get a look at some of the many kinds of house plants that are available and get a few tips on how to grow them successfully. Spring is still several weeks away, but in the meantime, house plants can provide great gardening fun for beginners as well as experts. And Josh Zamzo at Zamzo's Garden Centers shows us the huge variety of house plants that are available throughout the year. We have a wide selection of house plants primarily because there's a different house plant for every person and sometimes in the house for each window. I think the universal easiest plant to grow in your house plant in the world is the pothos. And pothos is the perfect house plant for beginners. It doesn't need much attention and will thrive in any room in the house and it comes in a wide variety of colors. They're easy, they, they are tolerant if you forget to water them and they're just, just happy. Or try the arrowhead plant which is silvery white leaves. It also makes a pretty hanging plant. But for really low maintenance, you can't beat the umbrella plant. And this is interesting too, because you were telling me, if you happen to break a piece off, you can root it and regenerate a new plant. I, I feel that way about most of the house plants. You, you, if in doubt, stick it in some water, and if it roots, put it in some dirt, and, and you'll have a new plant to give to uh, a relative down the road. And if a plant gets too big, just cut it back. The one thing you never have to be afraid of is pruning. They get in the way, they start blocking the window, you get a pair of pruners out, cut them off and stick them in the water and start a new one. But what about the wide range of light available to plants throughout the house? These are all tropical plants that would live in the canopy and so they do really well in a wide variety of light, especially uh, north side of the, of the building where you would think it might be too dark. Most house plants are easy to grow, but if you want to test your indoor gardening skills, try something that demands a little more attention. This is actually a bird of paradise, and you would see this uh, if you had a real expensive trip to Maui, uh, but you can grow this in Idaho even through the winter, and, and some people, if they're really good, can get them to bloom. It produces a spectacular flower, brilliant oranges, yellows, and blues resembling the head of a crane. Okay. Almost doesn't look real. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Well, sometimes you're a little afraid to plant something too big. Those are fine in big office terrariums or atriums, but in the house, you might have a bare corner. This would do really well there. Yeah, absolutely. I think of it as like green, alive furniture. But what if your plants start to look unhealthy? So if a plant starts sagging leaves or they start turning brown or something, those are signs that you can make a change. It doesn't mean the plant's necessarily going to die. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the, 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 it's, it's once you learn what the signs are, they apply in many ways to all different kinds of plants. They do a good job of telling us what may be wrong. It might be that it's too close to a drafty door or you're watering not enough or too much. Speaking of watering, the most common problem with house plants is overwatering. So what's the best method? The vast majority of these plants are gonna want a big, deep, long drink of water uh, and not very often, every couple of weeks. You can even give them a bath. Every Saturday, my mom puts the, the plants in the bathtub and gives them a good drink. <laughs> so no matter how you decide to water them, house plants will help clean the air inside our homes and keep our green thumbs active until we can start gardening outdoors again. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it. I'm Jim Duthie. Well, almost all garden centers carry many of the most popular house plants, as well as some of the more exotic ones. House plants come in a wide range of sizes, colors, and textures, as you just heard. And all garden centers will offer helpful advice on how you can grow them successfully.